so she, she doesn't she just anything and she falls asleep yeah she's like what do you what is your brother doing here on a saturday some sort of dumb dinosaur programming is doing ah uh, enough chit chat ladies time to hustle suicides are up next uh coach it's time for sprints right what are you still standing there for go 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 isn't even here yet. I've tried to turn this thing off and on about 50 times, but the Bluetooth receiver in the dial doesn't seem to be connecting. Would you mind taking a look? I've tried nearly everything. Sure, us scientists gotta stick together. The board's loose. Okay, try it now. It should work, but if it's the battery, there's no way of fixing that before you apps. Thanks, Tommy. Good luck in there. Today we'll determine which one of your experiments will be in the statewide YAPS Science and Dinosaur Competition. <laughs> Have you guys met our special guest, Dr. Reginald Reynolds? He's head of the Prehistoric Research and Development at Vista Tech Labs, and he's so graciously offered to help us choose an experiment today, and he's gonna stay and help us through YAPS. <laughs> Say hi, Reggie. It's Dr. Reynolds. Okay. <clears throat> Who wants to go first? Me, Miss Hadley! Oh. Great, okay. And just a reminder, your experiment needs to combine analog and digital technology in a way that teaches us something new about dinosaurs. Go for it, Ethan. It's built perfectly to mimic how dinosaurs once walked the earth according to current research. Robots like this can easily help us mimic behavior. Very impressive, Ethan. Did you have any problems with the project? Nope, not at all. Oh, great, but what's analog about it? Oh, I almost forgot. This will take a couple of minutes. Maybe someone else should go up while we wait, Miss Hadley. Okay. Uh, Tommy, go for it. Inspired by the CRISPR-Cas system of DNA RNA editing with additional nucleic acid sequencing, my project allows that without the need of an initial specimen. All changes are made on software. So in theory, one could take the map genome of an ostrich and use the Dilver system to make cuts to edit out or add in additional genome changes. In doing so, we could, for example, edit the ostrich DNA to get multiple species of dinosaurs. And we should be able to hatch a baby Ammonosaurus using an analog device to input the new DNA structure. This analog device is designed to kickstart the Dilver system. 
Using my gravity-based interface, uh, we can start the process only using kinetic energy. Using an ostriching, Using the Dilbert system, the modified enzymes will be absorbed through the shell, allowing the process to start. It should work. I did all the calculations. Not only does my dinosaur mimic exactly how it used to walk the Earth, but because of my use of analog technology, it guarantees no one will go hungry while studying. I just wanted to thank you guys for giving us this opportunity. It really doesn't matter who wins. Just as long as we help humanity learn more about dinosaurs. Well done, Ethan. This is the best thing to happen to me all day. Ethan's in. He'll be going to regionals. Uh, but Reggie, don't you think... It's Dr. Reynolds. And as I said, Ethan's in. Your dinosaur poops out some good donuts. There's plenty! Come on! Okay. Reggie, wait. Tommy's project is far more technologically advanced. It didn't even work. But the fact that he even attempted a project like this at such a young age... Look, Vista Tech is forcing me to be here because one of the caveats of our prehistoric research grant is that I spend more time with the school science program. Vista Tech has a financial interest in this. I don't have time for projects that don't work. I'm telling you, Ethan has the talent and the charisma to win this YAPS regional, and that would make Vista Tech very happy. So happy, in fact, we might have a position for a certain high school science teacher. It's Tommy. Miss Hadley, you've been my science teacher for two years now, and I always said scientists like you are the lucky ones. You get to experiment with new ways of looking at the world, and junior scientists like me are just as important, because we choose to be the next generation to shape the world. Like I know my Dilbert system can. I know my project can use a little more work, but it deserves another chance. Please reconsider, and thank you for your time. Uh, whatever. Reggie, please. Please. A program like this could change the future. I'm sure it needs some modernization. There is no way a 12-year-old could have created that kind of technology and had it work like it's supposed to. But... It... We're going with Ethan's project. It works. How about a compromise? Have Tommy come in and at least help out. I know he would love to be a part of this program. Okay, fine. But if he messes up, it's on you. And I will pull the plug on the apps program. Yes, yeah, Dr. Runner.
Tommy, is everything okay? Sorry, I didn't hear you. He took my phone to make a video for that dino program he won't shut up about. He said he only needed it for two minutes, and it's been at least ten. Is this true, Tommy? I promise I'm almost done. Just five more minutes? All right. But next time, ask me. I'd rather you use my phone instead, okay? You should just get him a real phone instead of that prehistoric flip phone. Yes! <laughs> yes, boy! Tommy, watch the fern. You know that's the only first prize ribbon I've ever gotten. Sorry, but guess what? What? I got in the apps. Yeah, what are you calling? Wonderful, from? honey. Well, not into the apps. Into the apps. But Mr. Hadley's going to let me come in as an assistant. That's great, buddy. That's wonderful. You're such a nerd. OK, don't listen to her. We're very proud of you. Hey, how about some dino chicken nuggets to celebrate? Yes! Uh, how about some kale? Are you sure you want to go? Yes, Cynthia. But you're gonna spend all this time in an after-school program to work on a project that isn't even your own. It won't be so bad, and I'm glad to help. And I need their help, too. Dr. Reynolds works at Vista Tech, in the prehistoric department. And if I get into Vista Tech, they can back me up in my project. So if anyone wants to take it, well, Vista Tech? Gross. Wish my mom were out of town. She'd probably be able to help you even more. Dr. Reynolds is here now, and I know he can give me solid advice on my project. I just hate to see you wasting your time when I know you can do better. You're just saying that because dinosaurs aren't your thing. But there's so many cool things you can study now. My mom always says we have to move onward and upward. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Bring dinosaurs onward, into the present. Tommy, I think your project has amazing potential. Keep working and I'll get there. You think so? Oh, I know so, but it wouldn't hurt for you to work on your design and presentation skills. It's why Reynolds chose Ethan's project. Thanks, Miss Hadley. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, Ethan. Ethan! Your first experiment worked flawlessly. Good job. Not everyone can combine functionality and personality like that. But Vista Tech wants another experiment, one that's worthy of their name, one that shows those grant money people that we mean business when it comes to helping schools. I know you'll come up with something good. Oh, Ethan, don't be afraid to let Tommy help out. Of course, Miss Hadley. Hey, Tommy, buddy. You know, so great that you're gonna help me out after school. I love helping the less fortunate. But I just wanted to let you know, I've won every single competition I've ever entered, and I'll have you kicked out of the program for good if I even catch one with you trying to sabotage me. Ethan, I'm just here to help out. Good. Because maybe I'll even get you kicked out of the school, too. In the meantime, could you help me with this homework? I trust you how to mess it up. And if you do, I'll mess up my project and make it look like you did. What do you got? What do you mean? Oh, come on. There has to be another experiment you're working on. Well, I've started seeing if there's a way to make a synthetic growth hormone. Some type of a dinosaur version, somatotropin. 
That way we don't have to wait years or decades for the dinosaurs to reach maturity. Especially if we ever figure out how to clone larger herbivores. But I'm only in the first stage of research. have no problem figuring the rest out. Assistant. Tommy, how did he go? I don't understand. The code should go through. It was working at YAPS. Or at least, I thought it was. Did you run a diagnostics test? Sure did. Nothing wrong here. Let me do a couple of calculations. Mom always sends me the latest, fastest computers. I'll get back to you when I have something. combination of switch letters has to include a new ostrich DNA. It wouldn't have worked at Yaps either. I just didn't have time to see it. No, 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 no! no. So if you want this to work, we have to bring together the genetic material from all the sources that should let us use these DNA building blocks to make the dinosaur grow faster. Looks great. Gotta run. Keep up the good work. Tommy, 
Tommy? I heard noises. Is everything okay? You hatched from that egg with that DNA. Okay. But, but you want to end Montasaurus. Tommy, let me in. Tommy, it's... Everything's fine, Mom. No! No. No! Tommy, open the door. Hey, what's going on in here? What in the world is that? Whoa, that is a hot lamp. That's why they call it a heat lamp. <laughs> Can't leave that on all day. You gotta watch that. Dangerous. It's all right, Dad. You're right. It won't happen again. Hope not. Great chat, guys, but I gotta get back to work. Hmm? Oh. What? Tommy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Go. I don't even. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, Tommy. You... So you're not an M. Montessori's. You're a hypsilophodon. Since the DNA fit the time given, and your genus and species is much smaller, it gave you the time to grow correctly. But then you just went ahead and reached full size that they're helping yourself to a growth hormone. I think I'm gonna call you Spike. How'd you like it? <sighs> you must be hungry. Going like that must take a lot out of you. Don't move. I'll be right back. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Just getting set for a society experiment. Then why are you sneaking around? I'm watching you. Wait, wait. What? I... Uh... I just want to see how good this is. King Beardo. That's Be sorry. Here. Look. Look. 
this. Eat. Good. Yummy. Come on. Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Spike. Eat. I think I have something you'll like. The last one. Beginning of an account of recent amazing adventures of Professional George E. Challenger, Lord John Roxton, Professor Summerlee and Mr. E. D. Malone of the Daily Gazette. Tommy, we're gonna be late for school. Go away, I'm sick. <laughs> You feel perfectly normal to me. Downstairs in five minutes, mister. But mom! But nothing. Gonna move on. Let's go. back as soon as I can. You sure you're gonna be okay? I'll take that as a yes. Tommy, I made some plans for how to make your Dilver system fully integrated so it won't crash so often. Well, nice idea. That's great, but let's save it tomorrow, okay? Sure, Tommy. get this fixed before Saturday's meeting. Take it home and see what I can do. Fifty percent more oxygen. Come on. We need some philodendron, some uh, Australian tree ferns, and uh, sago palm. That's it. Yeah. Sago palm. Uh, one hour delivery. Okay. And I also have the plastic sheet.
got a delivery for Tommy Harris? That's me. Hey, Tommy. How was school today? It's great, Dan. I learned a lot. Great. Uh, what is with all the plants? <laughs> it's uh, part of this Yapsh thing, seeing how humans could survive in a dino-type environment. Oh. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll live long enough to see a live T-Rex. Dad, if they ever bring dinos back, it is going to be a T-Rex. That will be a disaster waiting to happen. Yeah. Probably right. <laughs> anyway, uh, good luck with your, uh, with your experiment. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Oh, uh, you didn't happen to borrow Mom's fern, did you? No. Of course not. <laughs> Why would I need that? Okay. I'm just asking. Yeah. All right. Good luck with your thing here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some energy. Let's see what we can do. Sit. Okay. Stay. Okay. Now stay. Good boy. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Tell me about your little experiment. It's fine. Did 
Just can't have you bringing in anything that might damage my fern. My fern! Oh, Tommy, why would you take this? I need it for my oh. experiment. No, 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 no. You are so grounded, young man. Oh, no more computer privileges for a but week. Mom, I need those for apps. Oh, well, you should have thought of that sooner. It's okay, my little fern baby. It's okay. Rice bike. Hi, Mom. Hey, are you and Tommy already home? Yeah, I am. Coach is sick today, but Tommy's still at his meeting thing. Oh, good. Now you have time to earn your keep and do laundry. But, Mom... Uh, no buts. It better be dry by the time I get home, young lady. Fine. a joke, right? <laughs> it's probably just another one of your robots. Tommy? It's okay. You can paddle. about him until I can show him to Mr. Hadley and Dr. Reynolds. And Spike isn't even strong enough to leave yet. This sounds like the kind of thing Mom and Dad should know about. I'll do all your homework for two months, and your chores for one. That's all. You're asking a lot from me, Tommy. Fine. I'll do all your homework for three months, and your chores for two? Now we're talking. Deal. Cynthia, what's up? Tommy, I'm so glad you picked up. I tried email, e-chat, video chat. My mom took my computer away. 
Long story. What's wrong? I'm at the school library today doing some research, and Ethan and Dr. Reynolds are here. They're apparently meeting today to go over his new project. They're pretty upset you haven't been answering Ethan's emails about it. But? Hurry here as quick as you can. They're just waiting for Hadley to show and then go over everything. And Tommy, they're talking about kicking you out of the program. Thanks, Sin. I owe you one. Tommy, this floor isn't finished! Tommy, you better be back to finish. I wouldn't ask if I didn't have to, but I'm pretty sure I'll get kicked out of Yaps if I'm out of school in 10 minutes. And I can't take spray. He's not ready. Please. Just a few hours. All right. Been hour, you're up to six months of homework and three months of chores. Come on. And if mom and dad knock on the door, just tell Spike to hide and he'll hide. Don't you do anything more interesting? Excited we are to see the progress he's made on his growth experiment. Oh, you see, sir, we use the Dilver system to make the RDNA make things grow faster. So. Let's see it. Yeah. Tommy, why don't you do the honors? I don't actually have my laptop on me, but I still have the analog portion so I can walk you through the steps. You can normally see the details on my laptop, but the formula will stay the same and the egg should double in size. affect us because we're mammals. It's okay. <laughs> Tommy will be more careful next time. There isn't going to be a next time. I'm sorry, Tommy. I gave you a chance and you blew it. You're out. Oh, come on, Reggie. You can't just kick him out of the program. You know how much it means to him. Yeah, and if he was the genius that you claim, he would have been a lot more prepared. I'm sorry, Tommy. This tech can't have you as a liability. But Dr. Reynolds, sir, my project is almost ready, and I can't say what it is yet, but I think Vista Tech will be very impressed. If it was as impressive as you say, you would have already brought it down for us to see. I am not changing my mind. You are out. Oh, 
Tommy, wait! What do you think? Red or purple? You're right. Purple's way better. Should we do your nails? You make a good point. Purple clashes with your skin tone. But I think I have some yellow. That would be perfect. High five for yellow. Give me five for you. Science isn't about quitting. It's about failing until you're successful, just like all the greats. I'll tell you what. Bring your project in on Monday, and I'll take a look. You're a smart kid, Tommy, and I can't wait to see what you've created, even if it doesn't make it into yaps. Bye. Does somebody beat you up? Only I'm allowed to beat you up. I messed up a project and they kicked me out of here. Oh, Tommy. I'm so sorry. But Mrs. Hadley still wants to see my project. But I don't know if he'll be ready. I'll help you get him ready. You will? Sure. It sounds like Ethan's only in it for the bragging rights. Be great to knock him down a peg or two. Yeah, I don't know. Tommy, listen. Spike is an amazing creature that you created. Nobody else in this world has done anything like this. Don't let small minds get to you. Okay? Thanks, Chloe. What do we need to do to get this dino ready? We plant blankets. Bicycles. I was wondering if you could take a look at my dino robot one more time. The darn thing's malfunctioning. Thanks. I can't.
Miss Hadley's right, Tommy. This is incredible. Could you like this has to be properly studied, preserved? What do you think I'm doing? Uh, Ethan, go call the police. We have to contain this creature before it hurts himself. Ethan, no, put the phone down. I shouldn't be calling anybody. We gotta keep this quiet and discreet. A creature like this needs to be in a safe, protected place. We've gotta get him to Vistatech. I'd like to report a wild animal attack at the school. What kind? A uh, a, a a weird dog with scales? No, it's a it's a alligator with with a, a bird's beak. No, I mean it's a a, a giant armadillo with a, a a a giraffe neck. Hello. Hello. Unit 1701, we've got a report of a lab animal loose in your district, either an alligator or an armadillo or a giraffe. Get on it. Copy that. Responding. Everybody you got. And get here quick. Dinosaurs have escaped. This is our property. Spike, tell me! We're, we're the one that called you. This is we'll argue about this later. That's Mr. Tech property! Hey! Oh, Spike! 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 Spike!
Yeah, can you look into Dr. Reginald Reynolds, Vista Tech Corp. Get in the van. Tell me, stay back. from teaching forever. And Tommy, Spike. you come near this creature again? Let's just say I won't be that nice to either one of you. Spike! Close the door! Ethan, get in! Spike, let me go in there! mother gets back to me. You sure you don't want to wait for her? No. Spike needs my help now. All right. Please be careful. And Tommy? Yeah? I'll see what I can do. Thanks.
pasado mal, Eire. I lose this grant if he's no longer alive. We need Tommy. No, we need you. I staked my reputation, my career, and this grant on you. Now fix this before it's too late. Wasn't he that prodigy Reynolds brought in? Um, checks out. You smell that? Mm-hmm. die we need Tommy he can help no we are not calling Tommy he would just tell the authorities what actually happened and I can't have that I have been working for Vista Tech all my life and I have nothing to show for it so we are not losing this grant I'm not gonna be involved in the death of the greatest scientific discovery of our time stop Find that, Ethan. You and your donut pooping dinosaur are out. Get off the property. Stupid don'ts. Oops. 
Tommy. Chloe. Where's Spike? He's back there. I should have never let Reggie take him here. He's not doing well. He's having trouble breathing. He needs oxygen. Tommy. I was really stupid. Spike's amazing, and I didn't know Reynolds would take it as far as he is. He just wants Spike here so we can get that grant. Grown-up shouldn't take over a kid's project just because they can, even if that kid is you. We should have been trying to work together in the first place. Maybe this whole mess could have been avoided. I want to make it up to you. And I think I know how. Thanks, Ethan. No problem. Follow me. Oh my gosh, wait, come here. Come on, quickly. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let go. The dinosaur isn't doing too well, and I was wondering if you had a um, a, de, a, de, a, a, de, a defibrillator. Yes, a defibrillator. Um, do you? Yeah. You have one? Mm -hmm. Can you go get one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can go get one. Hey, Spike. Oh, save your strength. We're busting you out of here. He's not doing well. I don't think Spike has long. Trees make oxygen. 
So this is the best place to take him. with Spike and I'm trying to give him oxygen, but he needs more, so please help. Hurry! Spike! I'm sorry, Spike. I didn't mean for all this to happen. I wanted to bring something new into this world. But I won't rest until everyone knows what they did to you. Spike. No, 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 Spike. No, Spike. No. Spike. <laughs> That stress could have reverted his body into a torpor state, a sort of hibernation caused by the coolness outside and a severe lack of sustenance. We sometimes see this in birds, so it makes sense to see it in an avian dinosaur. Come on, we have to hurry. Tech property, and that dino is mine. He belongs to Tommy, Reggie. It's Dr. Reynolds. This is Vista Tech property, and that dino is mine. 
Dr. Reginald Reynolds, you are under arrest for kidnapping and animal cruelty. Not to mention him embezzling thousands of dollars from Vistatech and the public school system. What are you talking about? You have the right to remain silent. Uh, Anything you say can't, will be used to you. Hadley, you will never teach again! You cannot afford oh, hey, one will be a coffee food. next week, maybe? Let's go. I'm looking for a job. Uh, wow! Cynthia, your mom is Tabitha Nolan, the CEO of Genesharp? Why didn't you tell me? She doesn't like to brag. <laughs> Tommy. Hi. Don't worry about Spike. He's safe. I found the perfect place, a sanctuary provided by Jenna Sharp, a secure safe haven for this marvelous little creature. And we want you all to be there so you can help him stay comfortable. <laughs> oh, there you two are. Oh my gosh, I thought the reports were a joke. I couldn't get a hold of you guys. I'm so glad you're okay. <sighs> I can't believe this. Mom. Tommy made a dinosaur. Which is kind of a big deal. Seems to be in excellent health today, ma'am. Yep, and thanks to Cynthia's DNA patch, he can finally breathe their 21st century air. He's almost fully recovered, just in time to see his sister. I just want to thank you, and me too. Yeah, dinosaurs aren't normally my thing, but I had to make an exception for Spike. He wants to show you his new trick. Yeah. <laughs>